The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. It is telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered. Sometimes feel like Mission Impossible. Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show this time every week with a, hip, a tip to help you tell your story. Jerry, welcome back. Thanks. Good to be here. Absolutely. What's our storytelling tip this week? Well, it is to focus on a single idea when you're telling your story. You know, I don't know if you remember back from school in writing class, you, they often told us to have a something called a topic sentence for each paragraph. Yeah, that you right, wrote. sure. And I actually suggest you take it a little bit farther than that, which is to say that you have a topic sentence for your story as you're telling it that day uh, for the whole story. And, in fact, when I was a young reporter, uh, one of the things that I got told until I finally got it in my head how to do it was that uh, the way you write a most news stories or a lot of news stories was that you start with a sentence that's your lead that tells uh, the reader what it is the story is about and that everything else in the story should either explain or amplify that lead and if you put things in there that didn't do that, those were the things that almost certainly always came out first. Oh, you right. know what? And Jerry, you know, I know you, you took me right back to fifth grade and, and this topic sentence and thinking about our story and what it is that we want to say, keeping with one single topic. But Jerry, I have read something recently that said the best kind of headlines and the best kind of things to write about were like five tips to, to do X, Y, Z or, you know, six reasons you should you know, do something else. And so it seems like we're being encouraged to write about multiple things in one in one place. Is that is that a conflict? Is that the same? Well, no, actually, in that case, it, that, that six thing, you know, that six ways to do whatever, the five, the one you had this morning about, you know, five ways to avoid conflict or the, mm -hmm. you know, the six, I don't know if it was habits, but the, of, of, you know, highly likable people, right. that's your topic sentence. Now, you have five or six things or however many things underneath that that you're going to talk about, but they all go back to that six ways to whatever it is you fill in the blank. And then as you write each of those tips or as you give each of those tips, you will generally organize them around one thought or one idea. So that's the topic sentence for that particular tip. But the headline of the six ways to however, that's your topic sentence for that story. All right. Well, you know, we're talking about uh, focusing on a single idea. And I go back to, you know, like the movies I watch or the, the books that I read. And, and those tend to have lots of different subplots. And, and, and is that confusing or is that uh, just a further, a deeper expression of the one? Well, you know, I mean, typically, first of all, if you're going to go sit in a movie, how long does a movie last? Well, they typically last at least 90 minutes, some of them longer than that. And if you read a novel, for example, you're going to spend more than 90 minutes on most novels. Right. And, if you know, as business people, if you, if you have 90 minutes of uh, your audience's time, then you may need a subplot or two as well because it's going to get boring after a while. But even if you look at those movies or those novels... Most of those subplots typically feed into and, and sort of add color and depth to yeah. the overall story. And the reality is business people, we're sometimes lucky to get 90 seconds of our audience's time. Or if you're writing something, I mean, if you're writing a blog article, if you go over 400 words or certainly 500 words, you've really gotten off into, you know, it's like... A, War and peace of on the, on yeah, the you internet, hear that, Tussie? and so um, y you know you really do need to focus on a single idea and save that other idea for tomorrow. Oh. You know what? And if you're blogging and you're adding content um, regularly, you actually want to save some of that for tomorrow. I love how you describe that it's kind of the war and peace when it comes to the Internet. If it does take more than a few minutes or more than a few seconds, I'm often reminded of, of your statement, Jerry, where you say one of the easiest things for people to do is stop reading 
And I often, I often think, right. or stop listening yeah. uh, to the show. So keeping our single sentence um, and then using the rest in the supporting is brilliant for today. Jerry, do you, you used to commit journalism, you say, uh, for, for a number of years. Uh, do the five W's still work? I mean, do you put all those W's in, you know, who, what, where, when, why, uh, and, and how uh, in the first sentence? Well, I, you don't want to put all of them into the first sentence. Okay. Usually, I mean, usually the first sentence is the what. Yeah. And then you use the rest of the story to, to fill, fill in out those the other, other things. Okay. Although, uh, maybe this will be a wrong. topic for a tip someday because, um, you know, one of the things I believe is that if you if you have rules that are too rigid, particularly if you're when you're telling a story or writing or whatever, if the rules are too rigid, you start filling in the blanks of yes. a template. And boy, does that become boring in this, a hurry. This, uh, you know, this is what describes what I've been doing in my uh, in my headlines in a lot of, or in my lead lead sentences. Well, you know, breaking the rules as long you, people who break the rules because they don't have any idea what the rules are, you know, often don't do it very well. But people who break the rules because they know what the rules are and they know how to execute them, but then they choose to do them because they're taking it to another level. Those are the those are the great artists of the time. You uh, heard it here. Rule breakers unite. And Jerry you know Brown gives yeah. us permission. Absolutely. If you want to know when or not to break the rules, get in touch with Jerry Brown. The late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, Writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry. Hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. And I love that he can help you edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. Once again, you can reach Jerry at Jerry Brown or Jerry at JerryBrownPR.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. I love that he tells us to focus on a single idea. And yep. Eric, I think that lesson is was for, for me. You. Yeah, I got that part. The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.